Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Kitty. My channel is called What Kitty Do? And Kitty is I. This video, I am going to do the storytelling. A few weeks ago, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you should. I'm gonna put it right here. It's the same, what would, uh, what would Kitty do? The time when um, this guy said I hit on him and then his lady found out. So if you guys are interested in this story time, please keep watching. This was some years ago. I don't even remember what year exactly. All I know is I was single and I was still drinking. I was partying. Well, yeah, I was partying. I, I was wilding out after my ex and me split up. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I had a friend, a friend of the family, who was so, like probably 10 or 12, probably like at least 10 years older than me. Uh, this guy came out to the valley and um, was like, oh, I'm down the road, you know, blah, blah, blah. And uh, at that time I was down to drink and whoever wanted to drink, let's go. Let's go to the bar. Let's go play pool. Let's go drink. Let's hang out, you know, like me, I don't drink like on the prowl, you know, some people are like hunting around looking for someone to hook up with. Me, I don't do that. I go out to drink, have fun dance mainly to listen to music because i love music i love rap i love hip-hop and i like to listen to that shit loud <laughs> so like that's my main thing is either playing pool or jamming out and just throwing back a few anyways i was like you want to hang out later i was like okay he's like you're gonna have to pick me up though because i came with so-and-so and i don't have a ride so can you pick me up i was like cool yeah let me go pick you up oh before i left I told my dad, because my dad lives with me, and I was like, Dad, I'm going to go hang out with so-and-so. We'll just say Josh. <laughs> we'll just say Josh. And I told my dad, I was like, hey, you know, Josh is in town. My dad knows Josh, and my dad was like, my dad knows Josh, right? Josh suspects my dad. Wow. I thought he did, and um, worked with my dad in the past, and so I was like, I'm going to go hang out with Josh. I'll be back in a little bit, you know. We're just going to go have some drinks, whatever, at, you know, the bar down the way, and then I'll be back. He was like, okay, cool, you know, be careful. And I was like, yeah, and my dad knows me. He knows I don't sleep around, and I don't go out and just get laid by guys. So like, and, I mean, if that's your thing, you know, do you? I have friends who are a little promiscuous. I have some cousins that are like, mm. But me, I just, I'm just not like that. Maybe in my younger years, I was a little... I was a little Tatiana-ish, but now that I'm a mom, like, my whole perspective on how I carry myself or how I date or whatever, it all reflects on me as a parent, and it reflects on my kids, whether they want it to or not, whether they want to be involved or not, they're involved, so, like, I take that shit seriously. So I went over there, picked them up, we went to the bar, started drinking, he started busting out, so I was like, okay, cool, you know, we... I like to buy you a drink, you buy me a drink, I buy you a drink, you know, we take turns, whatever. And um, we just start getting, we, you know, start feeling good. And he just starts talking about his lady and how they haven't had sex in a long time and how she can't get him hard anymore. And I'm just like, I'm not, I don't even care, you know, that's your problem. I'm sorry you guys are going through issues, you know, like I'm. I hope he didn't invite me out thinking, you know, like, like, I, I, I don't want to hear your sad shit. I've been through my shit. Everybody goes through shit. Like, let's just have a good time. Beep. Next subject. Then he starts talking about my baby daddy, talking about the family, drama, all this. And I'm just like, by this time, I'm already like over it. I'm just like, man, why did I fucking pick him up? Like, I was already regretting it. He just kept saying, let's stay longer, let's stay longer. And he was starting to be a bug. Like, ask me once. Yeah, keep asking me and asking me and bugging me to stay longer. Like, it just gets annoying. And I was like, ask me one more time, I'm going to go home. Because, like, I'm, I was already annoyed. Like, I don't even want to hang out anymore. And uh, I, I think he asked me again, like, can we stay a little bit longer? I was like, no, I got to go home. I got to go home. I have kids, you know, like. I can't be staying out all night, you know, like, I'm gonna go drop you off. Uh, close out the tab whenever, um, wasn't even that far where he was staying. He was getting ready to drop him off, ready to dump him off. At that time, I was already annoyed, like, 
I just do not understand. And then uh, next thing you know, before he leaves, you know, you go in for a little hug, and that's cool, you know, like, you know my sisters, you know my dad, you know we, you know, you kind of know me, you know, we never really hung out, but you know who I am, you know who I come from, you know what family I'm from, you know, you know, you know, you know. And so, um, he goes in for a little hug, and I was just like, yeah, like, okay, you know, kind of just like half-assing it, not, not two hands, but one hand, I was driving, you know, so I'm like, oh, okay. And then he freaking starts kissing my neck. And I was like, ew, and I pushed him off. And I was like, don't do that. Like, I, I didn't invite you out. You invited me out. You wanted me to come pick you up. I didn't bother you, you know. You know my family. You know my dad. You know, I don't even roll like that. I don't know why you thought I was interested in you. I'm not interested in you like that. Don't do that. And he was like, Kitty, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He's like, I didn't mean to do that. He's like, you just, I just like you. You're so beautiful, you know, and this and that. And I'm just like, that's not cool, you know. Like, I'm gonna go. I was like, <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I was like, I'm gonna go. I just fucking drove. Like, he closed the door and I just drove off. And I came home. I was so mad. I was like, ugh. Like, he's not even good looking. Like, me, I'm a big chick. I wasn't always a big chick, but I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little juicy these days. And, um, I don't hide it, you know, like, I'm not ashamed of it, like, this, and I can still bad guys if I want it, I'm not, I'm not bragging, I'm just confident, you know, but him, he was not my time, he was a guy I would never go out with, he was way older than me, I don't like way, way older guys, like, I like people around my age, you know, and I was just so grossed out, and I came home, and I told my dad, he's like, what, I was like, I should have never went, my dad's like, why, what happened? I was like, we're hanging out, blah, blah, blah. He's talking about his lady, whatever, and blah, 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 blah. I end up dropping him off. And he starts kissing me, and I push him away, and he starts saying, and my dad's like, fuck, man, I don't fucking like him. My dad's like going off, like, I don't fucking like him. You know, he should never fucking did that. You want me to say something? You want me? And I was like, no, just leave it. I was like, I'm not going to hang out with him. Like, I don't even fuck with him no more. Like, I'm not even going to be his friend on social media no more. Like, I don't roll like that okay i'm honest about shit like this okay especially if i don't cause it especially if i don't if i know what the fuck i be doing i know what i do and i know what i don't do i know who i screw and who i don't whatever i don't want no drama so me being the honest person that i am i reach out to his lady and i wasn't even fucking trying to start trouble i wasn't even trying to start drama i was just trying to be honest get that shit off my chest because it bothered me like I didn't like it I didn't like how sneaky he was and and to top it on his lady is a good friend of my family his lady knows my family very very well group around my family well, I have respect for her because of who she is and how I know her and blah 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 I respect her as a woman so I reached out to her that same night because Obviously, he's a snake-ass, slithering guy. So I reached out to her. And I was like, hey, I'm going to just come out straight out and tell you this. I'm not proud of it, but I just want you to hear from my side because I don't know what the fuck he's going to say to you. I went to go hang out with him. I don't know if you guys are still together or not. I, I don't care if you guys are or not. To me, in my head, I always see you guys together. You guys are together. You guys are practically married, so... In my head, you guys are still together. I had no intention of going out with him to do any kind of fuckery. I just went out, you know, to have some drinks because he's a friend of the family. You're a friend of the family. We all have mutual respect, blah, blah, blah. But as I was dropping him off, he um, tried to kiss me and I pushed him off and I got mad. And I was like, I don't like that, you know. And I, and I remember, I even remember telling him that... I respect your girlfriend. I know who she is. She knows my family. My family know her. I don't roll like that. Like, I have respect for her. I'm not going to fucking do that. I don't know why you, you know, thought I was going to be okay with it. Anyway, she goes around and says, well, I'm going to message him and I'm going to ask him. Like, she didn't even fucking believe me. Of course she didn't believe me. I don't know why I tried to message her. Anyway... She's like, well, I'm going to go, I'm going to ask him and see what he says, 
because there's two sides to every story. She messages him and then he turns around and says, Kitty's lying. She was all up on me. She was all drunk. She was trying to hook up with me. She was, you know, whatever. Trying to sleep with him, whatever. I was like, ew. First of all, he is way older than me. Second of all, I don't even fuck with guys like him. I don't even like guys like him. He's not even cute. He's not even my type. Blah, 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 blah. In my head, you guys are together, you know? Like, I'm not. Those were never my intentions. I was like, if you want to believe him, believe him. But he's fucking lying to you. And I, I don't know why I even told you. You don't even believe me. And it seems like that's how it always is when... When someone like me gets caught up in shit like that, I'm the blame when it's obviously the guy's fault. And she took his side. She believed him. And ever since then, she unfriended me on all my social medias. I unfriended him. I blocked him. I hate fucking seeing his face. I don't even like him. I don't have no respect for him. Ugh. I can't even, I can't even stand to see his face. I have no respect for him. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. It's so stupid. I'm just like... All over a guy, all because you believe your cheating boyfriend. Anyways, that's what happened. And yeah, I lost a friend because of that. I longer associate with any of them. Watch who you hang out with, I guess, is the moral of the story. And make sure you can trust them, whether they're guys or girls. And guys are snaky ass son of a gun. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this story, please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what kind of stories you guys want to hear. But I'm willing to tell some stories. See you in the next video. Bye.